Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to hang out with you today. In today's video, we are going to be building a bookshelf. Let's go. And if you saw my book cart video, I find it so silly now that I look back at it. I have Jane built every like furniture or whatever it is for me because I just refuse. Like I look at the instructions and my brain freezes. And I was thinking about how you build my bookshelf for, or my book cart for me. And I was like, I could have done that by myself. And I could have, I could do this by myself, but why if- That's what I'm here for. If Jane can do it. So I have a book cart and then I have a like three shelf black book shelf and I, Finally upgraded to a like six shelf white bookshelf that I'm just so excited for. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the process of building it, just do a little montage of it. Then after we have it built, then I'll put all of my books on there and it's gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so satisfying and I will record the whole process. So first things first, let's get this built. <laughs> corner into my own little reading nook it's a pretty pretty empty bedroom there's not much in here so i would like to make this little area a little reading nook i would like to put pictures and posters on the wall but now i feel like i can and i could put like posters or pictures book decor just decor on the walls i would like to get a little lamp and i would push this bookshelf to either side get a little beanbag chair a lamp and also put like a rug so it makes it like nice and cozy so the first addition to the little book nook is obviously a bookshelf now the exciting thing is putting the books on here i brought over the things that i had on my bookshelf um and then all of the books Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so much fun. And then these are all the books that I have on my book cart. I've mainly been storing them on here since it has overflowed my other one. So ideally, I would like to just maybe have one or two shelves and then have the rest on here. On here, I would like to have all of my series. I would like to have all my hardcovers together and then have my TBR cart as like what I am wanting to read within the couple of months. So for example, it's May, I would like to put like summer themed books, but at the same time, I just wanna see how many books I can fit on here and then move them onto the book cart. So first thing first is I think I just wanna put all of my hardcover books like maybe to the second to last shelf. So I'll put you guys down a little bit because I know for sure um, I want to have all my hardcover books together and then we'll go from there. Let's start with black. Yellow, that doesn't really... Yeah. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I want to do it from height because it looks a little weird going up and down. Okay, that looks a lot better. I think I want to do my series now. I have the Harry Potter series. The thing about it is I'm gonna move them around as time goes on to see how I really want it. And then even after I like finalize it, I'm gonna wanna move it around as time goes on to just like change it up. And then I have my Divergent series. I have the Shatter Me series on my book cart and I wanna move it onto the shelf. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it, but let's just try. OMG. <gasps> How satisfying was that? 
I need a low-key starting to hurt. So I want to get up and go on to like the top shelf. <gasps> I just realized I have books in the other bookshelf. Oh my gosh. I just forgot about all the books that I have read. <laughs> They're in this bookshelf, so now I'm gonna move them into the other room. Oh my gosh, and I have hardcover books. Yeah, I gotta restart. I forgot about these. How did I forget about my babies? The ones <laughs> that I have read. Oh my god, that's awkward. Okay, so um, I'm definitely not even going to have enough space to put them in my bookshelf. And I somehow knew that too, but I still have my book cart to store them in. Okay, sir, so, let's restart. Oh god, this is gonna make me realize too that I have a lot of reading to do and a lot less buying to do. How did I not realize that I had more books? I just like completely forgot about them. My bad, G. So I have the Summer That I Turned Pretty series up there. I'm going to continue it with series and add my Twilight series there. There we go. Cute. So now I'm going to put my Emily and Henry books together. So I got these and Book Lover. And then for whatever reason, they made Happy Place in a hardcover. So I can't put them all together, but we're just going to do it like this. Cute. They're so cute together. Oh, this is so much fun. And then my L. Kennedy books together. I don't have the entire series. I only have the first three. I have two of Elena Armas' books. Oh my god, there's bite marks on this. Brickin' Ava, how did she do this? How did she do this? <laughs> okay. Children, am I right? Now I'm going to do all of my Allie Hazel books. This is just making me so happy. I just love having all the books together. Now for all of the Colleen Hoover books. Now to all of my Taylor Jacob Reed books. Now to my Tessa Bailey books. And then I have the Good Girls Guide to Murder series with the novella. And although these are not matching cameras, I'm just gonna put them together. And then at the very end, I'll like move them around how I want. But I feel like it's best to just put them all on here and then go from there. Then I have my two Lucy score books. I honestly want to avoid <laughs> putting books on the very bottom because as you guys saw, Ava chews on my books and she doesn't do it when they're in the book cart. So I think I'm just gonna leave the bottom shelf empty for now and then when she gets out of the habit, then I will put books there. I definitely don't have enough space for all of my books on here, but that's a good problem, right? I'll just buy another bookshelf. No, but I'll just put them on, I'll just store them on my book cart. Now I'm going to take them out and I'm going to organize them by genre. Okay, so I organized them all. So I kind of roughly organized them. Like I know these are sad, but like these are not. So this isn't like strict. This is just kind of like the vibe that I feel with the books. So I have like my thriller, spooky books. I have my fantasy. And then I have my romance, which of course is the tallest stack. And of course needed two stacks. And then I have just like literature, um, historical fiction. These are kind of like memoirs, self-help books. And then these are like holiday theme books. And then I have the books that I'm borrowing. I'm just going to put the books here that I really want to read. And then we'll go from there. Like I want to put the summer I turned pretty on the cart. Like I know this one with Italian summer. I want to read book lovers before I read happy place. So I'll just put both of them on there. I know I want to read things we hide from the light. Let's do just like my general fiction on this shelf like that. Okay, I think I wanna do romance on the very top. And then I just grabbed my like black cover books to start the color organized shebang. Oh, that looks so cute. Dang, we're filling this bookshelf up 
fast, fast. So I will see you guys in like a day or two once I have finalized everything on how I want. So I just don't really feel really happy with how it looks. It just takes a long time to figure out how you want to organize them, especially when you can't fit all the books on one bookshelf. So I will see you guys in a couple of days once I have everything how I want. Okay, so it has been a couple of days now. I have been changing it around a little bit every single day. And to be honest, like this is like the most satisfied I'm gonna be. I'm not like 100% happy with it, but I feel like I'm just gonna end up changing it every single day if I just like don't show you guys and just leave it how it is. I will show you guys the book cart first and then I'll show you the bookshelf. So for the first shelf, these are the books that are on my high, high TBR. These are the books that are on my anticipated reads. These are the books that I have been thinking about in the back of my head for a while now and just want to read. And we have some like new releases and we got a little bit of everything here. We got some spooky, scary books. We got some historical fiction. We got romance. We got some just general fiction type of thing. So like this book in specific, I have been wanting to read for such a long time and I just haven't gotten to it. And then I also have books here that I want to read next month. I really want to read the Summer I Turn Pretty series. And then like here's another like summer book. This is the book that is in the book club that I'm in for the month of May. So I put it on here so that I can grab it when I'm done reading the book that I'm currently reading. And so now to the second shelf. So right here, I have all three of my Tessa Bailey books. These are all summer related. So I wanted to put them on the cart because I want to read them relatively soon. And then we also have like Alan Hildebrand summer uh, historical fiction book. And then I got some Colleen Hoover books. These are the rest of the Colleen Hoover books that I have. I want to get more just Colleen Hoover standalones. These are all part of a series, so I won't be reading them anytime soon. At least that's how I feel right now. But I just wanted to put them, all my rest of my Colleen Hoover books on my um, book cards. And then I have the third book of the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I need to get the rest of the series. This is the last one that I have physically and I want to read it and finish the series. Then I have the second book from Elena Armas that I want to read. And then these two books, I feel like these are the OG romance books in the book community and I have not read them. And so I put them on my book cart because they're on my high priority. We got some fantasy, we got like another one just like general fiction, and then we got a memoir. And then down here, I have all the books that I'm currently borrowing. I wanted to put them on my TBR because they're on my high priorities so that when I'm done reading them, I can give them back. And then I have the rest of uh, the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I only have read the first book, so I decided to put the last two and the memoir on the card so that I can read them. And then we got some thriller, spooky books, and then historical fiction and general fiction, and then Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. So now to the big mama jamba. I like can kind of believe, but I can't believe how freaking fast I filled up this bookshelf. I am already looking for another one to buy. I did not know I had this many books. And what sucks too is like, I totally thought that I was gonna have enough room to buy more books. And now that I look at my bookshelf, I'm like, I don't have any room to buy any new books. Looks like I gotta get to reading and looks like I need to stop buying books. Here we got a little bit of a rainbow moment. We got a little bit of mixed genres. We got romance, we got general fiction, we got fantasy. I wanted to do a little bit of everything. I wanted something where it, I kept all the series together, I kept all the authors together, and I also wanna do a little bit of rainbow moment. So that's what I ended up doing. So this is my rainbow section. So I'll show you guys a little slow pan of all of the books that I have on here. I didn't wanna move any of this and change it up to make this look better. I feel like I'd rather have my bookshelf look prettier than my book cart. So that's the first one. And then when we go down, these are all of the Colleen Hoover books that I have read. We got a little bit of uh, historical fiction, fantasy, general fiction. Um, romance and then we go down to these last three which I haven't read 
but want to. And then we go down to the bottom and right here are all of the, these three specifically are Christmas books and then we got a Halloween one. So I put all of like the holiday themed books together. We've got some fantasy, we've got some spooky, scary books. We got fantasy again, memoirs. We got some sad, sad, sad books that I have not yet read and then we got a like self-help book and then we have the Twilight series. So then right here are most of my fantasy series. So I was so impressed that I was able to fit these all together. I think it looks so satisfying. So right here we got the Harry Potter series. <coughs> oh my god I'm so sorry. I cannot wait to read the series. I just have to wait mentally until I'm ready and then I have to wait for like the cozy fall winter season and we're going into summer so that's why we got summer books over here and then we got the divergent series i absolutely love the movies and i heard sarah crowley say she really liked the divergent first book so that was the only thing she needed to say for me to buy the entire series especially because i was already wanting to read it then i have the shatter me series oh, this is just a world that I am so excited for, but I'm just not ready for at the same time. Like I feel like any of these books, like I have to just be mentally in it and like ready. And I'm such a mood reader and it's so, it sucks because I wish I could just pick up this book, but like my brain is just stopping me and I'm just like, no, I'm not ready. I know I'm not the only one, but gosh, like the time will come when I would take this book out. It's just gonna be so and then on the bottom shelf here, I have all of my hardcover books. So I tried doing a little bit of a rainbow thing, didn't really work out. I wanted to keep the tall books together and then medium and then short books together. So the first book we have, The Invisible Life of Ada LaRue. I'm very excited to read this one. This is like one of the OG book talk, book world community <laughs> books too. I'm just very excited to read. The Lurk in the Dark, Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. One of my favorite books ever and then emily henry's new release i feel the need to read book lovers first before i read happy place then we have i'm glad my mom died by jeanette mccurdy very excited to read this one then we have carrie soto is back hidden pictures rabbit one of my favorite books of all time and then we just go to just a little mixture of everything we got some memoirs we got some spooky books and some cozy uh, fall, you know, what am, I don't know what words are anymore. I've been talking for so long. So that is my entire bookshelf tour. I am so happy. I love my bookshelf so pretty much. Every single day I have been coming in here and just staring at it and just being like, wow, I love it so much. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching. If you love book content, definitely check out my playlist that will be at the end of this video. I put together all of my book content in one little playlist for you. And then if you also like vlogs, I also make vlogs on my channel. So either or or both, definitely go check them out. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.